rebel members rushed to the registrar of political parties and submitted some documentation purporting to have changed the leadership of the party. We applied to the registrar and uh, early this week, to be precise, on Monday morning, the registrar furnished us with the documents that she had been furnished with by the rebel faction operating from a hotel called Radisson Blue at the Arboretum. Our upon going through those documents, we as uh, the legitimate office bearers of the party made our representation and rejoinder to each and every of those documents and appeared before the registrar on Monday. Some of you are there to cover the event. The registrar generously, and we thank her for that, gave us time from 11.30 up to 4.15, where our lawyer, Mr. Milimo, and all of us here made very thorough, cogent, and factual presentation to the registrar. Upon looking at those documents, they were very glaring anomalies. First, there were forged signatures of some members of NEC, some who have already sworn affidavits and furnished with the registrar, and we are in the process through our lawyers filing a criminal complaint against those uh, members for forgery. One of the ladies uh, whose signature was forged is in fact here, Mama Halima, a NEC member from Wajia, who was with us here on the Sunday and who the Radisson Blue Group purported to be with them. We also have several other members, one member from uh, Lamu, one member from uh, Kirinyaga, and several others. A criminal complaint is in the process of being filed with the DCI to look into this matter. Secondly, on looking at those documents, we found that the names furnished purporting to have created a quorum included one, 14 impositors, people who are not members of our NEC at all. And remember, the registrar of parties, political parties, is the custodian, is the depository of all documents of parties. We went through the record she has of Fort Kenya NEC members and compared with the list that was given and pruned out 14 impositors pretending to be NEC members. One fellow from Bungoma called Peter Wahuleka, another one called Mukenda, and several others, another one called uh, Professor Ngome, uh, a CEC in Bungoma called Makanda Matthews, who is a CEC agriculture. One, as a public servant, he can't be an official in a party, but two, he is a masquerade because he cannot be as a member of a neck of a party when he's working for the executive in Bungoma and many others. The registrar has acted upon our submissions and has written to us today and the letter is here addressed to you as truly as the party leader of this uh, Fort Kenya party and the address is very clear. The Honorable Moses Wetangula, party leader, Fort Kenya, P.O. Box, Nairobi. This is the address. It is copied to that rebel group and it says very clearly that upon looking at the documentation submitted by those impositors and the documented submission of the legitimate leadership of the party, she has reached a conclusion that uh, there is a probable dispute in the party and she has read our party constitution very clearly and understood it. And our constitution says if there is any issue in the party, either between a member and the party, or between a member of the party and another member of the party, the matter must be resolved through a dispute resolution mechanism set out elaborately in that constitution. 
that is what the registrar has advised to be done. So the kind of uh, statements that have been going on out there by people who are uh, excited over very s simple things, what I normally call behaving like a child who is touching a toy for the first time in its life, doesn't want even to sleep without it. They have been told very clearly that go back to your party and engage in accordance with your constitution. I want to send out a word of caution. Those who are engineering the destabilization of leadership of parties should know that their days are numbered. We want, as Fort Kenya, to state here very clearly that we stand in solidarity and support of Musalia Mudavadi, the party leader of ANC, and their leadership very good. in Thank office. You, we will not stand by and see a partner party in our coalition and a party that is friendly to our party being destabilized by people who think they have got the monopoly of bad manners in this country because the office can never sit vacant the documents and the instruments of this party the party seal the party certificate and all our documents are in this office and the temporary custodian of those documents is Dr. Chris Omalwa and if you want to know that this is a rebellious group we can show you the letter they have written to the Regional Political Parties on 4th June has a stamp saying Fort Kenya headquarters at Kileleshwa. <laughs> you know very well this is not Kileleshwa. This is Oleodume Road in Kilimani off Ngong Road. So they are running in the bush. We left Kileleshwa to come here three years ago. And this is where we are domiciled. So they are living in the past and they are trying to hang on anything, including a rubber stamp that is outdated and actually stolen from this office. Because all the past and the present instruments of the party are domiciled here, not at Radisson Blue.